Mark with Arrow, I want to tell you about our new Arrow Heavy Duty Ambulance. This box that we chose for this particular build is a 72 inch interior and a 172 inch long module, so a nice big box. Paired up with a 2019 Ford F450 4x4 diesel chassis with the liquid spring rear suspension system. This F450 chassis has got a 6.7 liter turbo diesel motor in it, and it also has the Whalen Ion series warning lights in the grill and on the fenders. Got the Whalen LED warning light package on this truck, so we've got the M series warning lights, and then also we've got lights in the recessed in the polished aluminum rub rails. Uh, also have our stainless steel trim package, so you get stainless steel uh, running boards, stainless steel rock guards uh, on the front and the rear. So nice, uh, nice upgrades there. Inside the cab of this F450, it's a XLT package, so it comes really well equipped with a lot of nice creature comforts. Uh, also has our custom built uh, center console here. Padded armrest, flip top with storage below. So you have room for maps or binders or whatever you may need to store in there for quick access. And then also has some cup holders. Our uh, Wayland siren head is here and then lots of room for uh, additional radios or anything else you may need to put in the console. And then also has our Carling Mills Nonsense rocker switches up here. Works in conjunction with our uh, solid state electrical systems. Just have to flip a switch with whatever you want. It's live. Added some uh, USB ports up here as well. A lot of nice features up here in the cab. Checking out the left side, driver side compartments here. Got a nice big uh, oxygen compartment. Universal tank on this one. So whatever size tank you have and then probably even have room for backboard or two in there. Lighting inside all the compartments as well. Nice big L2 compartment here with an adjustable shelf. Uh, LED strip lighting, also have a Vanner inverter, Kusmal auto eject, and then also a Vanner charge indicator when you're plugged into the shoreline. M-Series warning lights over the wheel well here, and then a nice big L3 compartment. Uh, this one's got a nice big adjustable shelf in it, and uh, the strip lighting in here also. Heavy duty stainless steel flip up rear bumper. M-Series warning lights at window level here as well. The nice big M-Series scenes uh, for the back that are activated by the rear door and that uh, dump with the liquid spring suspension system. Checking out the compartments on the curb side. Got a really nice big uh, backboard compartment back here. Uh, shelf on the right hand side and room enough for a stair chair down below that shelf. Another nice compartment here behind the rear wheel. And a nice big ALS cabinet uh, inside out access there with uh, adjustable shelves. So plenty of room for go bags and anything else you might need to access from the inside or the outside. Then moving on inside the box, got uh, glove holders above the side entry door and the rear entry doors. Uh, 72 inch headroom, like I mentioned before. Got our electrical panel here, our solid state electrical system with our custom relay boards. Self setting relays on here, everything's nice and labeled. Got LED lights, uh, let you know what's on and off. Got a nice big action area countertop here. Got our Carling style rocker switches uh, on the panel back here as well. Got automatic climate control with digital readout, inverter switch, suction, nice big countertop area. Drawer storage here, slider back here. Really nice features. The suction mounted down below, gets it out of the way of the countertop. Some nice storage up above, even up above the CPR side seat there. Five point harnesses on the CPR seat and on the uh, seats on the squad bench side. Nice big reaction countertop. Nice to be able to put your uh, defib monitor back here. Again, some more storage. Got sharps container waste there. Nice to get that out of the way. And then a nice storage drawer there. Big cabinet up top here. Another cabinet kind of on the back wall there uh, behind the squad bench. And then out the back doors. We've got the Dump of the liquid ride suspension uh, activated by the rear door. Really nice to be able to get down to optimal cot loading height. So a really nice feature with that liquid ride system. If you want any additional information or if you have any questions on this new Aero Heavy Duty Ambulance, feel free to give us a call or check the listing out on the website.